welcome back to, I can't say sunny California, moony California. Beautiful night, absolutely beautiful night in Southern California. Balmy, soft breeze, beautiful in terms of the shape, what it looks like out there. What the camera is not picking up is that you can see with the uh, unaided eye a nice amber glow very clearly emerging in the dark shadows uh, of the umbral uh, shadow that is eclipsing. For those of you who maybe hadn't realized, the totality of the eclipse is only going to be about five minutes. This has been sort of touted as the shortest eclipse of the century. The moon is going to dip into shadow and dip right back out again. And indeed, if you are uh, somewhere where you can go outside and look up, you'll see some beautiful copper orange glow on the uh, where the umbral shadow is but over the next few minutes over the next 15 minutes precisely um, we will watch that shadow uh, crawl across the rest of the face and then uh, our camera should be able to pick up that copper amber color it's giving us more of a, a of a blue it, the gain is a sort of artificially overexposing and raising a bluish tint toward the top, not the orangish tint that the moon actually sows. Surprising um, gradation of color of the red, uh, very deep red at the bottom of the moon and this lovely blue color uh, at the top of the moon. Uh, so I think this is really one of the most surprising eclipses I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Usually a uh, lunar eclipse, the moon moves into the shadow of the earth, it turns red, it's day moon. Um, it, at least that's what it looks like here. We'll have to get some better, carefully calibrated images um, that are sure to become available over the next day uh, and try to understand exactly what we're looking at. But we. Uh, we are in that it's as total as total as it's going to get. Um, what do you think, Gang? One more bit I of gain. I think so. Might look a little. Uh, let's do it one more try. And we're going to raise the gain another three dB. Twenty-one. Uh, okay. Twenty-four. There we go. Yeah. And here we are in the depths of totality. This is the calculated start of totality right there. Uh, and uh, you can certainly see the deep red and this very unusual kind of extraordinary silvery blue at the top. Well, we will sit here with you through totality, which is supposed to be only a few minutes long, the shortest lunar eclipse, total lunar eclipse of the century. It very clearly appears that we will never lose that silver tint totality and when we had the music on there for a little while we were very urgently trying to uh, assess what to do with the exposure times and the gain to uh, make it look right <laughs> based on what we expected right would look like. So it really is just a, a very unusual lunar eclipse. I've never seen anything like this one. It will, uh, you'll never see the moon quite look like this I think again. Well, it looks indeed as though totality has ended. I, as promised, step outside to see the moon uh, and uh, with my eyes instead of through these cameras and monitors. And it was a breathtaking sight. So we have really the best booster for Griffith Observatory in all of California, perhaps all of the world. And uh, we are broadcasting live through the web right now. Yeah, and it does look to me as though totality has ended, has it just has. ended. So yeah. um, it, indeed it looks like totality was a little longer than the four and a half minutes. So um, 
started a little early and ended a little later. Um, but that beautiful sort of bluish um, bright color at the top of the moon never did go away. And that, yeah. is, that is unusual. A real blessing to be able to share this with our, our representative. Uh, as we have all commented, we are coming out of totality now. Crosses into full sunlight and returns to the beautiful full moon that we all know and love. Um, so that will continue until about 5.44, uh, and then we'll be, be in the penumbral phase. We will lose the moon at that point. Uh, the sun will rise, the moon will set, the earth turns, and so we will not be able to watch it any further. I'm sure there are probably some feeds elsewhere uh, from, uh, from telescopes west of us uh, that might get that last penumbral portion of the eclipse but we will be able to take you through almost the end of the umbral portion. Finished watching this truly remarkable eclipse. It's, it's been, I have never quite seen one quite like it. It's, it's just gorgeous. Now we did mention that uh, the last of this tetrad of eclipses is uh, in September, September 27th. Griffith Observatory will be open for an event. I think you'll want to come up here. I I don't know if I'm supposed to mention this, but we have uh, some special music planned for that night uh, in partnership with a local arts organization here in Los Angeles. And uh, so that will be a very beautiful night uh, at Griffith Observatory. So if you want to come up, be part of it and uh, see an eclipse with your fellow eclipse lovers, uh, do come to Griffith Observatory.